Sylvia Langer, and I'm the Development Director at Unity Project for Relief of Homelessness in London. Unity Project provides emergency shelter and transitional housing and supports self-help where people are struggling to escape and avoid homelessness. We serve maybe 650 individuals uh, a year, distinct individuals. The number goes more up to about 1,000 when you include all the drop-in support which is, I guess, crisis support, or come in to use the phone, do a load of laundry, um, uh, get staff support, uh, housing support. We have um, crash beds, which are nightly stays, and emergency shelter, which is kind of a residency that can be anywhere from three to 30 days longer if needed, and in which case you're actually in a home-like environment where um, all the residents participate in all aspects of the shelter, cooking, cleaning, the daily maintenance. Then we also have transitional housing, uh, currently two phases of transitional housing where people are paying a rent but still accessing that community, still getting uh, staff support either routinely or independently as needed. We track uh, if pe when people leave, if they're um, going to another shelter, whether they achieved housing, whether they went to jail, hospital, or if it's unknown. We discovered that 60% of the people who stay here stay 10 days or less in the course of a year. 80% uh, stay 30 days or less. And that discovery was really game-changing for us in terms of like our intake processes and our intervention processes. I think our budget overall, including all those programs that I talked about, is about a million and a quarter. The Unity Project, as other shelters, are contracted uh, through the city to provide shelter according to a standard, which we meet and exceed. Unity Project invoices the city uh, per person per night uh, for the eligible people. In addition to that, we certainly do we write grants, we hold events. It's important for us to raise money so that we can get things that we really always need, like socks, underwear, deodorant, those are reliable things that we will always need. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's so many standout moments, but I think for me, I've been a vo I was a volunteer since 2003. Uh, I joined the staff in 2008. While I was a volunteer, we invited the city to a meeting here to help us develop a good transitional housing program. And that meeting was so much fun and it was so good to come together with the city to realize that we were on the same page and we were friends and we were influencing each other and helping each other to um, find solutions to homelessness in London.